J ハット塾。Please hit subscribe. This problem appears at the qualifying examinations for applicants for Japanese government MEXT scholarships 2020. This problem is from the 2020 undergraduate mathematics A questionnaire. The official link to the answer key and the original questions are in the description. We are given a set of numbers called A. A has the following elements 2, 3, and 5. Then we are to pick a number from A. And we call that number B. For the first try, we will call it B sub 1. For the second try, we will call it B sub 2. And for the third try, we will call it B sub 3. And here we just write it this way that B sub K must be picked from the set A. Here K is just the number of trials. So B sub 1 is the first trial, B sub 2 is the second trial, and B sub 3 is the number we get from the third trial. Then we are told that we will define a number C. That is the product of all three numbers B1, B2, and B3. We are then asked the probability that this product is odd and the probability that this product is a multiple of 5. For this product to be odd, all three numbers must be odd. And therefore, for B1, we must not pick. 2. For B2, we must not pick 2. And for B3, we must not pick 2 again. And so for B1, there is a probability of 2 numbers, which is 3 and 5, out of the 3 possible numbers. And that probability is 2 thirds. For the second trial, the same probability applies. Again, we only have to pick. 3 and 5, and that is 2 out of the three numbers. So again, that's 2 third. And for the third trial, it's the same condition. And so the probability of picking 3 or 5 is again 2 thirds. And because B1, B2, and B3 are independently picked, the total probability is the product of their probabilities. And that means we get 2 third times 2 third times 2 third, which is 8 over 27. And that is the probability that we only pick 3 or 5, which will make the final product an odd number. For the second problem, it is easier to actually think about the case when C is not a multiple of 5. Because if we know the probability that C is not a multiple of 5, Then the probability that C is in fact a multiple of 5 can be obtained by subtracting the probability that C is not a multiple of 5 from 1. The only way that this is not a multiple of 5 is for the first number to be either 2 or 3, the second number to be either 2 or 3, and the third number to be either 2 or 3. In each case, we avoid the number 5. And therefore, for B1, the probability that it's either 2 or 3 is 2 out of 3 numbers. And that's 2 thirds. For B2, again, we avoid 5. And so we can only select 2 or 3, which is 2 out of the 3 numbers. So the probability of that is again 2 thirds. And the same is true for the third number, B3. The probability that B3 is either 2 or 3 is again 2 thirds. And therefore, this product here is the probability that C is not a multiple of 5. And therefore, the probability that C is in fact a multiple of 5 is 1 minus this probability. And that gives us 19 over 27. If you learned something new today, 
please help my channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell for the notifications. See ya! Please hit subscribe.